Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my ZY430. And this is a probably half hollow faux wood. It is actually kind of a nice razor. This is Chinese razor though. So now uh, I've had quite good luck with them and I've been able to, for whatever reason, get good ones. However, I have seen pictures of razors that uh, aren't so good. So they are inexpensive. So that is one benefit, but other than that, you know, just go ahead and be warned, you could get one that's not quite right. Okay, now I am using tonight Captain Clark, and this is just marvelous. I've had the puck blooming. We're going to pour that off and put that on his pre-shave, just like normal, and what a wonderful scent. This is tobacco, leather, right on the top, and then oak moss, citrus, and sage right underneath that. And it just fills up the shaved in. It's wonderful. It really is. I really enjoy being outside, as most of you know, if you've been here any time at all. So, this is a very outdoorsy scent. I really enjoy it. And right about there, I was out in the woods and caught a stick right in the face. So, we're, hopefully we're going to be able to miss that. And uh, we'll be okay with that during the shave. But, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, and... I'm using my Omega 10,098, just a marvelous brush, and let's get it loaded up. All right, so the midweek shave, hump day. Yep, hopefully you're having a good week. We've made it to the midweek, which is always good. That means the weekend's right around the corner. Yep, and hopefully you have... Uh, been in good spirits. The world's been treating you good. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully you're getting some good shaves. Yeah. Maybe even some great shaves. That would be awesome. Right? Absolutely. Yep. So, I think I'm there. I do. I think that's it. I think that is going to make it for this. And I'm just going to clean up around the bowl like normal. And we're going to add that as our routine as well. Oh, what a marvelous scent. Mm hmm. Really is. Okay. Now. Let's get that going. Nice, nice, fantastic. What a wonderful soap. There we go. 
Okay. Now, I do these Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by, check it out. You can uh, be part of the uh, community here, okay? Now, this is pass one, which is going to basically be with the grain on my cheeks and across the grain on my neck. Let's get going. So that's with the grain. That's with the grain. All right, that's just the way my beard grows. Now, this is gonna be cross the grain. even though that's north to south. Now this is going to be against, or actually across the grain here, and then with the grain with my neck. And I got my finger in the sides. Now that is with the grain. And here, that's going to be across the grain. There we go. Check it out, nice. Absolutely wonderful soap. Yeah, let's kind of get that laid cleaned off. There we go. All right, so now, like I was saying, this ZY, this is the 430, and I think I picked it up on eBay for maybe $7.88 with shipping, and it came with a leather pouch. So it, they're really not expensive at all. And the ones I've gotten have really had good form, fit, and finish. However, like I say, I've seen some with pictures that haven't been so good.
Fantastic self, good performer, good cushion, nice slickness. Very nice. Yep. Pass one complete. Yep. Now, let's go ahead and get that washed off and see how we did. It felt good. Yeah. And that didn't get hit too bad. So that's good. And I do Shape of the Day videos, like I said, on Wednesdays and Sundays. But the first and third Friday of every month, I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials. And those I make from comments, questions, and suggestions that you make down in the comment section of these videos. So feel free. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for a Friday special, go ahead and put it in the comments. And I will do my best to get something done for you. And then we can all learn. We can find out uh, how to do, what to do, all of that. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Nice. Okay. Now, this is going to primarily be against the grain on my cheeks, against the grain here and in my chin, and across the grain on my neck again. Okay, but the last across the grain was north to south. This is going to be south to north. If you found it easier to do the north to south pass, just do that twice. It'll do the same thing. There we go. Nice. Switching hands. And get this other side.
be careful right there. Switching up that handle. Maybe hit a bump right there. You caught another one there. I thought that one. That's all right. No big deal. All right. Switching hands. There we go. There we go. Pass two complete. Yep. And let's get that washed off. See how we did. Oh yeah. Nice. Cheek right where we want them. That is brilliant. Actually, neck is actually really good today too. Yeah, this particular ZY actually uh, was a daily shaver, you know, for me, a daily driver every day uh, for a while. And I really did, I, you know, enjoy it. And what really helps, just so you know, when you're shaving, if you can stick with one razor for a while, you can actually get the hang of that razor and how it works really helps a lot yeah so that's the tip of the day right there stick with the razor stick with one and use it till you got it figured out now this is the half pass and you can always look right up here in this card and see a detailed version of the half pass revealed okay check that out and 
what this is going to be for me is primarily this is going to be a against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Now, let's get going. I'm going to reach around and we'll do it. You know what? Let's find that first, though. And the weight of the blade only. Nice. That is really good. Sweet. Very good. Ooh, there we go. It's a towel rack. It happens. All right, there we go. Another shave in the books. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Nice, nice. Okay, just a little bit right here. And this Captain Clark is slick enough that uh, you can do a little touch up work, so that's nice. Now Face wet again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice residual slickness. Alright, now alum everywhere. And did pretty good on that spot that I hit on that tree. Not bad. We dry that off. There we go. Nice. Now for our aftershave tonight, this is soap. It does have a citrusy note. Okay. Thayer's. And this is extra cool. This actually has some uh, what is it? Uh, grapefruit. Grapefruit scent. Which I find wonderfully lovely. 
So we're gonna get some of that and put that on. And the Thayer's Witch Hazel is excellent. I enjoy her. And of course, put that everywhere. Next, for our Colony thing, right? This is Clubman, Panad Clubman. And this has got, uh, you know, kind of a good complement with the uh, leather and tobacco thing going on. Goes really nice with this silk. There you go. And no shave would be complete without Nivea Poche Bomb. Yep. Always like that one. Taking care of the skin. Okay. There we go. I am done. That is so good. What a wonderful feeling. You click right up here to see why you can't hone a straight razor. Very interesting. You ought to check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. You can click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.